PowerTwist Plus installation instructions. Disassembly. Hold the belt upside down. With one hand, bend back as far as possible. Twist one tab 90 degrees parallel with the slot. Pull the end of the link over the tab. Rotate the belt end with tab 90 degrees and pull through both links. Assembly. With tabs pointing outward, place end tab through two links at once. Flex the belt further and insert the second tab through the end link by twisting the tab with your thumb. Ensure the tab returns to the correct position across the belt. Reverse the belt so tabs run on the inside. How to measure. Pull the belt hand tight around the pulleys, overlapping the last two tabs with two holes in the matching links. It is recommended to mark the belt with a pen to ensure the proper links are removed. Disassemble the belt, removing both marked tabs. For the correct installed belt length, and to ensure optimum belt tension when running, count the number of links and remove one link for every 24 for all cross sections except C and D, which is 1 in 20. To aid in this process, every 10th link is designated with an arrow. Installation. Determine the direction of drive rotation. The belt must travel with tabs trailing or following the belt direction arrow. Assemble the belt and turn tabs to the inside. Fit the belt in the nearest groove of the smaller pulley. Roll the belt onto the larger pulley, turning the drive slowly. The belt may seem very tight, this is okay. Check to see all tabs are still in their correct position and are not twisted out of alignment. For multiple belt drives, work the belt from groove to groove. On particularly wide drives, it is recommended to install half the belts from the inboard side and half from the outboard. Retensioning. Like all high-performance V-belts, PowerTwist Plus V-belts require the maintenance of correct drive tension to operate efficiently. Experience indicates that drive tension should be checked between half an hour and 24 hours running at full load. A retension may be necessary depending on the severity of the drive. Any initial belt elongation is then taken up. Subsequently, belt tension should be checked periodically and adjusted when necessary.